Welcome to Drill Down Earnings. We've got second quarter results from Google. The stock market is responding, so why don't we? This is the business story behind one stock and a move. I'm Futurum Group's chief market strategist, Corey Johnson. Uh, Alphabet, this big company, Alphabet Earnings. Why do we care? Of course, it's maybe the most dominant company, maybe the most important company in the world. Maybe, could be. One of the biggest, certainly, and wow, what a quarter. Wall Street likes a beat or a miss. This was a beat, um, uh, and the numbers were just really solid. Here's what the business did, the actual numbers. So in the quarter, um, in the, the second quarter for this business, ended in June, of course, uh, the company reported, you know, nearly $80 billion in revenues, uh, $85 billion to be exact, up 14% on a year-over-year basis, driven, of course, by their search business. The cloud business is doing well. YouTube is doing well. Let's dig into some of these numbers behind the headlines. So as I mentioned, uh, $85 billion in revenue in the quarter. It's hard to even conceive of numbers that big with fantastic double-digit growth. But also profits were much better than usual, 32% operating margins showing maybe the benefit of some of the cost cuts they've had, uh, the employee number uh, hardly growing at all, actually down a little bit uh, on a year, on a sequential basis. So the job cuts they had don't seem to affect their growth because the numbers are they're putting out here are just fantastic. And uh, Google search certainly dominates the alphabet business. It was 57% of revenues in the quarter, but there was a lot of other stuff in there. Uh, YouTube ads, the Google network ads, that's the ads that manage, uh, Google manages for other companies. It was a huge business in the quarter. Um, there's subscriptions and devices, 11% of revenues. Google Cloud, 12% of revenues now. There are other bets and hedging, you know, those are marginal businesses. But what you see here is some gradual diversification from this business. And as it, all parts grow, all parts are growing. And it's really something to behold here. Now, specifically, I want to look at uh, YouTube. So there, it looked like there might have been a growth hiccup for YouTube. YouTube uh, had turned negative uh, a little over a year ago and then seemed to be really picking up steam and then seemed to lose it a little bit uh, in the most recent quarter. Um, now, if we, let's go back for a minute. First, let's look at the Google Cloud business. So the Google Cloud business growing at 28%, that's fantastic. Uh, really strong business that's now doing over $10 billion in revenues uh, every quarter. But again, that YouTube uh, ad growth looks like it's getting a little long in the tooth maybe. Uh, so we asked uh, Ruth Porter, the analyst asked Ruth Porter about that in the conference call. We can get to that in a second, but first I want to see what happened to the stock. So in initial trading and after hours, you could see the stock jumped, then sold off, then sold off some more with concern about YouTube, uh, despite the fact that it's up 53% in the last year going into this print. But when Ruth Porat was asked about that, the CFO, the outgoing CFO, she's been there longer than any CFO in, in their history, and she's someone I'm quite fond of. She's a terrific person and does really good work there, obviously. Uh, she was asked uh, what we should uh, tease out about these numbers from YouTube and what it really means. And in her uh, notion, it just was because last year was so good, this year was just a tough compare. I think the important point to note, I tried to tease out in opening comments, was that the deceleration in this year-on-year -year revenue growth for the second quarter versus the first quarter primarily reflected the tougher comparison versus the first quarter. Because at that point, as you probably recall, YouTube was lapping negative year-on-year -year growth in Q1 last year. And then also Q1 benefited from the extra day from um, leap year. And so what you're also seeing here is uh, it, with YouTube, we were anniversarying the ramp in APAC-based retailers that began in the second quarter last year and foreign exchange um, headwinds as well that were um, that we noted. And so it's, it, there's some timing issues going on and what we're trying to highlight is the underlying operating strength. All right, so what's it all mean if uh, indeed this is just a, a blip in the radar for YouTube and everything's going great guns? What's one number we should take away when we look at these results and want to remember what matters here? I'll have that for you right after this. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. So YouTube Q2 earnings, uh, here's a takeaway, the things you want to remember. $85 billion in revenue, an incredible number, uh, and 14% growth 
for the quarter on a year-over-year basis. But I promised you the bite, one number that tells you a whole lot. And I think the most important thing to take away here is the turnaround in the YouTube business. And we wanna watch the YouTube business. You might even be watching this on YouTube. You wanna watch the YouTube business to see if this 13%, that's the number to remember, the 13% growth in the quarter uh, is a turnaround or just a one-time slight change off of a great last few quarters. All right, thanks for listening to Drill Down Earnings. I'm Corey Johnson. And of course, you can watch us uh, at X, follow what we've got to say uh, on X at Corey TV, on TikTok and Instagram at Drill Down Pod, and follow all of our earnings reports at 6.5 Media on YouTube. Comment, leave some mentions, tell a friend, tell us what you'd like us to do and what you think. We'll be listening.